OK, so here we're asked to solve a trigonometric equation. Notice it is quadratic. There's a number of ways to solve this. We can factor that, difference of squares, or we can extract the roots. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to isolate the square, and that means we'll go ahead and add 1. And I have sine squared x equals 1. Now dividing by 4, I'll have sine squared x equals 1 fourth. Now to get rid of the square, I'll go ahead and take the square root, extracting square roots. Don't forget to put the plus or minus when you do that. That leaves me with sine x equals plus or minus 1 half. The square root of 1 fourth is 1 half. OK, so next we're going to take um, both of those equations. We have sine x equals negative 1 half or sine x equals positive 1 half. So at this point, we have to figure out where is sine x negative and where is sine x positive. So let's go ahead and look at the unit circle. Now, let's look at this one first. So sine x is positive in Q1 and Q2. So this is going to have Q1 answers and Q2 answers. Now, when I look at this equation, we have sine x equals negative 1 half. So sine is negative in q3 and q4. So this, this is going to have q3 answers right, and q4 answers. OK, notice they have the same ratio, so they're all going to have the same reference angle. So let's look at sine of x hat equals 1 half, right? So the reference angle is going to be sine inverse of 1 half, or 30 degrees. So that's going to be our reference. Now in Q1, the reference angle is the angle that we're after. So in Q1, x equals x hat. So in this case, we have x equals 30 degrees. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tack on 360n while I'm here infinitely many solutions, coterminal in quadrant 1. OK, now let's look at quadrant 2. In quadrant 2, we have the reference angle right here. So to calculate the angle x, what we're going to do is take 180 degrees and subtract out the reference angle. All right, we have x equals 180 degrees minus x hat. So 180 degrees minus 30 degrees is 150 degrees. So x equals 150 degrees plus 360 degrees n. Infinitely many answers coterminal in quadrant 2. Now let's move over to this equation where we have sine x equals negative 1 half. So sine is negative down here first in q3. And the reference is right here. So to get that angle, what we're going to do is take 180 degrees plus the reference angle. So x equals 180 degrees plus x hat, or 180 degrees plus 30 degrees. So x equals 210 degrees. And then I'll add 360n to that and get infinitely many answers coterminal in Q3. Now in Q4, the reference angle is right here. So to get the angle that I want, I'll take 360 degrees minus that reference angle. OK, so x equals 360 degrees minus the x hat, 360 degrees minus 30 degrees. So x equals 330 degrees plus 360 degrees n. Infinitely many answers, coterminal in Q4. All right, so those are all the answers to the original trigonometric equation that happened to be quadratic. Now, one last thing we don't want to forget to say that n is an integer. Or you can say n is an element of the set of integers like that. OK, and there you have it.